Hey guys, Joshua here, and today we're going to take a look at the BenQ EH600 Wireless Smart Projector. The BenQ EH600 is their smart projector that is targeted towards business and corporate professionals. It is called a smart projector because it runs off an Android system and even has its own apps. Think of it as a smart TV but in projector form and the dimensions of this projector come in at 296 by 120 by 232 millimeters while weighing in at 2.5 kilograms. The entire unit is white with just a green band around the lens on the front with their logo and other information in a grey colour. On the top of the EH600 projector, there are three small lights that will turn on to indicate power, temperature and light. The power button and menu control buttons are also on the top here in case you choose not to use the included remote control. They've also included a remote here and this can be used to turn on and off the projector and also control it through all the different modes. You can also control the zoom and focus of the projector from here. On the back, there is a audio in and out port, D sub 15 pin input, analog video signal input, RS232 serial control, HDMI port, mini B USB port, and two USB type A ports. On the sides are vents to dissipate the heat that will be coming from the projector, and on the bottom, there are some screw adjustable feet, but also screw holes as this can be mounted to the ceiling via a holding bracket. Setting it up is super simple, but before you even turn it on, be sure to turn to the back, unscrew the compartment here as this is where the wireless dongle will be hidden. It is simple to install, literally just plug it in like you would a USB drive and put the cover back on. Screw it back in and you're good to go. The first thing you see as soon as you load it up will be which orientation do you have the projector in and you can choose from four different options. So you have front table, rear table, so this is flipped slightly and this flipped upside down because this is from the rear ceiling and also front ceiling. Anyways, let's just go back to the front table and move on. To make things a lot easier, instead of using the remote, you can also plug in a keyboard and mouse which I've done to the two USB ports at the back so it makes things a lot easier to use and it really is very convenient. There is another option in connecting your peripherals which is through Bluetooth. So in this setting, you can either use Bluetooth to output audio to an extra Bluetooth speaker, Bluetooth headphone, you can connect your mouse, you can connect your keyboard to truly make this a very wireless solution because if you're mounting this to the ceiling, yeah, it's not going to be great having wires dangling down if you're using a wired keyboard and mouse. From all apps, click in and you can go to Firefox. So open and when you're in, because I've already connected a keyboard and mouse, you notice that there's this little pointer here so the mouse moves around very easily. I would suggest doing that because using the remote is a bit of a hassle. So you just use it like any normal browser, just click on it. If you want to go to Facebook, you just type it in from here and it will just load up. So very easy to use. The BenQ EH600 goes up to 3500 lumens, so the brightness is really quite bright even if the sun is shining through or you have your lights on, you will still be able to see it clearly but obviously if you're going to be watching a movie with this, you want it as dark as possible and as you can see, it's really a very immersive feeling especially if you can get this up to say 100, 150 inches, it will really feel like a small cinema just in your house. Another point to take note of is that because it's a full HD image, so 1080p, it is better than 480p by a lot. 480p, whenever I've used anything or watch any videos or movies in 480p, I really find that it's very pixelized, so not worth it. But with this, because it's at 1080p, everything is very clear. You can see the details very easily and yeah, it's just a lot better. The viewing experience is legit amazing. Okay, so that was music that was coming directly from the projector and you can hear that slight distortion but other than that, it's pretty good. Any anyway, shout outs to Harris Heller for Stream Beats because it's free to use music. Another option for you to project images or presentations is actually wirelessly, so either through your iPhone, Android and you can even go over to the PC side. So this Android, PC, but I'm just going to use my iPhone because that's the easiest right now. 
as you can see now the screen mirroring from my iPhone and yeah it's really legit very easy all you need to do is make sure that you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network and you can just use it like this and yeah you get a bigger screen you can FaceTime zoom and if you want to do presentations from Keynote or Excel you can just use your MacBook or even iPad to wirelessly screencast this on I was talking about wirelessly casting this from your tablet or laptop and the nice thing about casting this from my iPad currently which I'm using is if you want to draw someone's attention to any part of your spreadsheet all you need to do is you can actually just zoom in and you can see actual summary your auto entertainment food and you want to bring their attention somewhere else you can just scroll and it just makes the whole affair a very simple thing to do and you just go down and you say they tell you they can't really read it you zoom in even more and you can just show whatever you need to show so this really makes presenting very simple if you choose not to go down the route of wirelessly casting this from your tablet laptop or phone you can also just plug in a USB drive and just treat this like a PC and a monitor all built into one because you just plug it in you'll read it and you can just start your presentation from PowerPoint Excel Word things like that just to show you all how it looks like after USB drive has been plugged in so you literally just use it like you're using a computer so I've already gone into my folder and from here you can see a few images and these are actually screenshot results from a previous build I did and then you just go select a picture click it and you can choose the existing way to open the file so it's really like your own PC click the picture display and you can see it displays it perfectly well there are a few apps such as AMS, DMS, Xsign Broadcast that will be updated later on with the BenQ EH600 projector which I personally think is great because you can still get software updates with this as it does connect to the internet wirelessly you can do everything from the projector itself this is probably one of the most convenient and easiest to use projectors that I've ever used and that's why I'm recommending it for corporate and businesses even if it's for use in the office or at home currently since we're all in a work from home situation you're basically getting a projector that is plug and play and it really isn't that heavy as long as there is a blank wall with a few feet of space somewhere you can use it to set up a home base be it in your bedroom living room common room etc bring it around because like i said it's not that heavy there's even speakers in it and well they're not the best but they get the job done voices are quite clear and even if you use it to watch movies the clarity is decent i've been using it for meetings and proposals and have not faced a single issue with it at all it does what it's supposed to do but really really well okay that's been it for the video remember to like and subscribe for more tech and gaming videos hit the notification bell to so get notified when new videos come up and i'll catch you in the next one ciao